This video is part one of a two-part series on the basics of library research and the research process. Library research is much more than searching Primo and finding books and journal articles. This video will only cover steps one through four, the topic refining and searching process. Let's imagine you've just been assigned a research paper. You decide to focus on water pollution. The first step in the research process is deciding on which question about a topic you will answer. Often, this is a how, what, or why question. If you're not sure exactly what direction you want to go, that's okay at this point. Next, you will learn more about the topic. To narrow down your potential questions, you need to learn more about your topic. Good resources for this are books and reference materials. I also recommend checking out the research guide for your subject. Keep track of your sources, as some might be helpful later. There are many ways to limit your topic but the most common options are demographic group, location, time period, or theory approach. Let's look at some examples. Demographics are characteristics of human populations such as age, sex, income, race, or profession. Let's use our topic water pollution as an example. Try doing a few test searches to see what resources are available before deciding on a specific limiter. Remember, not every topic has been researched before, and some topics will need multiple limiters to keep results manageable. Our Choosing Topics Help Guide has more information. In steps 1 through 3 of the research process, you've already chosen a topic, you've done some test searches and found at least some results available, and you're ready to do more serious searching now. In step four, it's time to select and search library resources. If you haven't looked at the research guide for your subject yet, now is a great time. For help on how to use all the features in Primo to limit your results, watch our Primo 101 video. Let's talk about keywords. To find what you need, Primo and databases need you to use the same words they use for your topic. These are called subject terms. They are assigned to resources by real human beings. Sometimes, looking at keywords for one item will lead you to find better terms for future searches. Let's look at our example, water pollution. Other words for water pollution could be water quality, water pollutants, water pollution control, environmental monitoring, or wastewater. How do you find out what terms to try? The answer is, try as many as you can. Still not sure what subject terms there are for your topic? In Primo, you can find them on the left-hand side next to your search results under Subject. Subject terms are also listed inside individual item records under Details. If I click on any one of the terms, a new search will open with all the items containing that subject term. Databases also have a special tool called a thesaurus where you can search for subject terms. EBSCO databases, like Academic Search Complete, have a thesaurus called Subject Terms. Type your topic in the box and click Browse, and a list of terms will appear below. ProQuest databases like ProQuest Central have the ProQuest thesaurus, where you can search for terms the same way. For more information about these tools, ask a librarian. Our Using Databases Help Guide has more information. Now that you have a list of subject terms, you can use the following techniques to combine them to get the best search results. OR is more. Using OR tells Primo I want to do a search for anything in the database that has the subject term social media or social networks. By putting a capital OR between them, I avoid having to do two searches on similar terms. Here, my results more than double using OR. A capital NOT will eliminate a term from my results. Let's say I want to do a search on social networks, but I don't want to include Facebook. I can include an NOT capital phrase at the end of my search string to eliminate that keyword from my results. Here, my results have decreased by over 300,000, but more importantly, the results will be more of what I'm looking for. Ready for some advanced techniques? Try the parentheses. In this search, I tell Primo I want marketing about social media or social networks, but not Facebook. As you can see, using parentheses got me down to just over 400,000 results, when every other search was over 1 million. If I didn't put parentheses around the OR phrase, I would get all the articles about marketing and social media, or anything about social networks, but not Facebook. Careful, parentheses can be tricky. The Advanced Search feature in Primo allows you to tell Primo exactly where you want Primo to search for terms. For example, you only want to search for a term in the title of a source. Normally, Primo searches the title, author, subject terms, and abstract of the item. What's the bottom line on searching? 
Mostly, I start with one or two keywords and then take advantage of the tools built into Primo and many of the databases to hone my results. Research takes a lot of trial and error. Did I mention that Primo 101 video? It has great information about Primo's many search results features if you're interested. And of course, if you need more help, ask a librarian. The rest of the library research process will be covered in part two.